Okay, good morning everybody. My name is Trooper Jim Stewart. I'm the Public Information Officer for the Nevada Highway Patrol. I'm also assigned the Public Information Officer for this event. Uh, this morning at approximately 9 o'clock a.m., uh, the city of Elko County in Elko, the Elko area, um, there was a 7.2 earthquake. Um, that was confirmed by the University of Nevada Reno Seismic uh, Center in, in Reno. And the, the epicenter of that is around the Carlin Tunnels, about five miles southwest of the Carlin Tunnels. Uh, currently right now in our community, we have some damaged buildings. There is a collapsed building um, near the um, Dale White Motors, which is just south of, of the southern part of Elko. Um, we have the, um, the 12th Street Bridge, for those of you who know, is a major route that goes from Elko to Spring Creek. That is currently has, is blocked and is damaged. Uh, we encourage everybody to use an alternate route, preferably 5th Street or the Ericart uh, Bridge over there by, um, by the, uh, the uh, Sheriff's Department. Um, at this time, uh, the number of casualties so far that we have, that we know about, is one. And that was a result of the, um, the, um, of a, while, of a fire. And let me get some information on that road. Let's see. That was a result of a, a structure fire. Um, we currently have 14 that have been admitted to the hospital with injuries. Um, I do not know if those are life-threatening injuries or not, but we have 14 currently and one casualty as a result of a, a fire. Um, also at this time, uh, there is power outages north of I-80 um, in the Elko area. So if you live or if you have relatives or family that are north of, of Interstate 80, we are experiencing some power outages north of I-80. So on that note, uh, we have established a, a um, stand by here, uh, the Adobe Middle School is designated as an emergency relief shelter for people that are not injured. So if your house is damaged, you can't be inside the building that you're at or your workplace is damaged or you need some additional assistance, the Adobe Middle School, which is north of Elko, over there by the Home Depot area, um, is the relief center for that. And the Red Cross is also there to assist us. Um, I would like to express the Elko Fire Department, the Elko Police Department, and the Elko County Sheriff's Department, along with all the other emergency responders, are working together as a team. Uh, we are a unified command, and uh, we will keep you updated on these events as they occur. Uh, we encourage people to stay calm. Uh, we are doing the best we can with all the resources that we have. And um, at this time, I, I think I want to introduce you to. I want to introduce you to um, Under Sheriff. Claire Morris, he is the incident commander for this incident. Sir? Yes, we just had an update here just recently. We have an active shooter going on right now at the Walmart store here in Elko. So please uh, stay home and, and, and if it's sheltered how, at your house if you can. Please stay away from that area for the time being. Uh, like I said, law enforcement has responded. We'll have some more uh, details as soon as they uh, get this thing taken care of. Thank you. Hmm? No, we have not. At this time, I just spoke to uh, the uh, hospital about 10 minutes ago, and there is no, there has been no other reports of casualties. And on that note, I was just informed if you, for those media that need to go to the hospital to get information on the hospital staff, they are fully operational. And for any media inquiries at the hospital, you can meet in the medical lobby at the hospital, and there will, the, there will be a public information officer for the hospital there to answer any hospital related questions. Well, uh, Trooper, sir, we understand people are getting a, having a hard time getting through on their cell phones. There's um, a problem with communication. Yes, I would expect there were, there's a lot of people on their cell phones right now. I would expect there to be some commu communication problems and I will get an answer for you on 
when that will be uh, restored and we'll we'll get with that you know let me introduce you you sir, to rob stokes he is the counter commissioner county manager sir uh first off i'd like to say that uh, Elko County really appreciates all the assistance that we're receiving uh, from the various uh, emergency response agencies at the city, at the county, uh, the state. We also understand that we'll have some uh, federal assistance coming too. I want to say that the uh, uh, Elko County uh, Fire, Elko County Ambulance, as well as the Sheriff's Office are all participating uh, in uh, responding to this uh, major event in our community. Uh, we would also encourage the public to cooperate with our emergency responders. We need your assistance. Please remain calm. Uh, please report things that are actual emergencies uh, and then try to take care of issues uh, as best you can at home and in your offices uh, and allow our folks to do their work. I've got a question. What's the status of the current the state declaration, uh, the declaration by the county has been approved by the county commission chairman uh, and that information has been forwarded by telephone to the state emergency management. We will be faxing that declaration here very quickly. So all those mechanisms are in play. City to Police Department is integral to the response that's taking place today. Certainly we appreciate what they're doing. Uh, as uh, was reported earlier, this is a unified command. And my viewpoint of that is no one is wearing a certain color or badge today. Everyone is working together to deal with this issue. So at this time, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to conclude this press conference. We will get back to you Ten. about 1 o'clock. We will have another press conference here. That's about two hours. And we will update you with any more information on um, this earthquake. Thank you very much.